And now, your first alert five weather. Great to have you with us here on News 5 at 6. That's a live look from our Rock Rimmon studio. Some good rain up here on the north end of Colorado Springs. So far this afternoon, we picked up two tenths of an inch of rainfall. Much needed. That's just as much rain as Colorado Springs picked up during the entire month of August. It's nice and cool out there as well. Live look from Pueblo. Still have some blue sky showing in Pueblo and it's still really warm. Maybe hot is a better word to use when it's 90 degrees outside. Have a live look from Canyon City Main Street where they've got that farmer's market going right now. Get those fresh veggies while you can now that we're into the month of September already. Here's radar. We've got rain and thunderstorms popping across parts of Colorado Springs, parts of El Paso County right now. Nothing severe, just getting much needed beneficial rainfall. Some of that heaviest rain right along I-25 right now. That stuff coming out of Glen Airy, Peregrine, right across Rock Rim. And there we are right there at the studio getting that real good rainfall right now. Stuff lifting off to the east northeast slowly at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. So if you're along with us here at the studio under, underneath that thing, you are getting a real good soak right now. And that is really the only show in town. We've got dry skies across the rest of southeastern Colorado watching something try to develop across portions of Fremont County right now. We're to see rain and thunderstorms come and go here for the rest of the evening. Here's our hour by hour forecast. Seven o'clock, good rain across Teller County into portions of western El Paso County. That stuff lifts off to the northeast and we're going to reload by nine o'clock. Another round of rain and thunderstorms across Teller County back into Park County. That stuff continues to lift to the northeast. So between nine and eleven, more rain here across Colorado Springs and El Paso County. Even very early tomorrow morning, not out of the question to see maybe a little bit of rain across portions of Pueblo County. Goodness knows you need it and we do it all over again tomorrow. Tomorrow morning again a few showers possible across parts of El Paso County will be dry midday then by afternoon. Here we go again. Thunderstorm possible just south of the city of Pueblo. Then between four and five we'll have rain coming off the hills rolling across parts of El Paso County and Colorado Springs. Going to see mainly dry skies for the kickoff to Friday football fever tomorrow evening at seven and then a few showers across southern Colorado by late tomorrow evening. Slight chance an isolated chance of maybe getting a severe thunderstorm across across parts of the viewing area tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow evening. Storm Prediction Center has a marginal risk right there from I-25 all the way out east to the border. Hot stuff in Pueblo today, 91. Your high course not as hot as yesterday's 96. Colorado Springs, a very pleasant day, 85 this afternoon. Average high this time of the year is 81 degrees. So even though we were cooler than the past few days, still warmer than normal. Outside right now, you want to talk rain cool air. Take a look at Monument and Woodland Park. Current temperatures of only 57 degrees. Overnight tonight, it's going to be really nice. Great sleeping weather, comfortable overnight low temperatures, afternoon high temperatures tomorrow, real close to what we had today. Maybe a little cooler across most parts of southeastern Colorado. Going to be a humid day by southeastern Colorado standards with that upslope flow around here. K uh, scaling it back to just isolated thunderstorms on Saturday. Real pleasant day overall on Saturday. We're 10 degrees hotter on Sunday. Monday, Labor Day, afternoon high of 90 degrees with lots of that sunburn sunshine. If you're going to be outdoors having fun, you will need that sunscreen in Pueblo. Well, when the Labor Day weekend arrives, people want to get out and play, have some fun. It is the last big blast of summer, the last three day weekend of the year. Very comfortable on Saturday. Sunday, that's Fiesta Day at the State Fair. You'll be feasting on a lot of sunshine. You want to wear your sombrero out to the State Fairgrounds to protect you from that heat and even hotter for Monday, Labor Day. Canyon City thunderstorm opportunities will be best in the next couple of days. You get a big helping of September sizzle starting on Sunday. Monday, you'll probably want to be laboring over a cold beverage when it gets that hot 93 degrees Woodland Park afternoon thunderstorms with beneficial rain the next couple of days get to a safe spot when you see that lightning or hear thunder dry and warm Sunday and Monday to wrap up that long Labor Day weekend here's Jake